Mental Health Collaborative was sparked by a former patient of mine who lost his life um, and died by suicide. And that's what prompted me to start this. Um, anyway, I've just become more and more aware of the need for mental health education, awareness, and community building, and that's really why I'm doing this. Um, our core program, and I'm, it's, I don't know if it's okay to leave some of these cards here. Absolutely. But our core program is based on mental health literacy. So really, just like we teach people and expect people to know math literacy, overall health literacy, mental health literacy is also crucial and critical. Um, so we're piloting our program beginning in Hopkinton at no charge. Um, we are funding a program called Challenge Success in the high school beginning this fall. And we are working with this uh, middle school and high school on piloting some mental health curriculum programs beginning in the spring. And we'll um, hopefully do community-based program programs if they're wanted in the community. And our, our goal, Mental Health Collaborative, our goal is to eventually grow into neighboring towns as well. And just the, another initiative and the reason that I'm here with Dawn tonight is um, we're also doing a community, a mental health community needs assessment. And um, <coughs> our goal is to use that information to, um, you know, guide some of our programming and really have an idea of what's important to our community in regards to mental health. Um, so the survey is currently online mm -hmm. until October 5th, so there's about 10 days left. Um, and I'd love to ask you to offer any help you can in supporting and maximizing the participants in Hopkinton. Um, so it's open to people ages 18 and up. We're collaborating with Hopkinton Youth and Family Services to do this and with Boston Research Group. So it's anonymous, takes less than 10 minutes, and I would just love as many people as possible to, to give us information as to what they need and where they feel the gaps are in regards to mental health. So, any questions? And I think Don wants to talk about another initiative too. Sure. Yeah. Thank you, uh, before, Don. Bo Don, before you start, does the board have any questions? I have a question, Mr. Mr. Herr? Abby, the survey, has um, EHOP, through their communications channel, have they notified their constituents, uh, yes. call them, that they're, yes. it's, it's online? Yeah, we've had a lot of support with HCAM, um, EHOP, uh, just social media, right. just trying to get the word out. It's hard. People are so busy. It's hard. I have some surveys at the Hopkinton Senior Center, and um, yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. All right, Don, you're up. Okay, thanks. So I'm Don Alcott. I'm the Director of Youth and Family Services. And, and just what an honor and pleasure to collaborate with Abby. Um, I think it's a wonderful thing when a resident um, comes forward in this way to do something for their community when they didn't have to. And um, so I, I applaud her and her efforts um, to serve the community in this way. And we'll certainly glean a lot from the data about what we can do for youth and family services um, here um, in Hopkinton and for the residents in Hopkinton and how we can partner together. Um, there's more than enough to go around in terms of mental health needs.